What's up, guys? So, a lot of people are really interested in magic. You know, whether other people know about them practicing it or whether they don't tell anyone at all. For a long time, I was one of the people that just didn't, I don't know, just don't tell anyone. Um, but then I found this field, uh, talismanic magic. It's based very thoroughly in astrology. I know a lot of people hate when you say that word, the A word, you know, it's that thing in the papers that talks about your sun signs and it's wrong and it's stupid and it's wrong, but it's not. I think a lot of the information that people know about it, a lot of it's been watered down and a lot of people, I mean, I'm not better than most people. I'm just a guy. But I think a lot of people take astrology and the practice of it as just garbage. You know, it's, oh, you know, well, this is just the practice of looking at planets and stuff. And then people try and incorporate asteroids and the outer planets and stuff. But that's not correct either. Um, you, some people want to try and combine everything. The idea of this magic, this magic, this form of magic, is that it comes from the seven divine classical planets. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. And the idea is that you pick times to worship them and to devote energy and conscious will toward them. So, it, you know, it's not something you really can, you know, find. Oh, I'd like to take a class on uh, worshipping the uh, giant spheres above our heavens. You know, if, I mean, you're not going to find it. And most people have just either stopped caring about it or, I guess, forgotten about it. I mean, there's not a lot of books out there, except for a very few. And they're reasonable and should be purchased by their authors. They take a lot of time to do this. And I highly recommend you look into finding some of the books off the subject. Um, I can name a few in the description. But uh, this is just kind of like a warm-up video for everyone to kind of get initiated uh, into what this channel is supposed to be. This is, I want to bring people back to what I believe and what I've found magic to be. I mean, it's not, do it, and you shoot lightning out of your fingertips. <laughs> it's not that at all. Um, the idea long ago, back when none of us existed, and when, you know, you know, the Greeks, and even before the Greeks, you know, the Egyptians, the Persians, uh, a lot of Indians, a lot of Middle Easterners, they were the masters, all right? They were the people that, that figured this stuff out. And um, I, I don't know, honestly, I don't know how they did it. But back then, their idea of magic was, you know, the, the Philosopher's Stone. You have something you turn it into gold. What is it? Oh, it's a pile of crap. No, it's not. It's gold now. <laughs> That's the idea of it. It's transmutation. And through this magic, the idea is you transmute a thought that you have into another thought that leads to another consideration, that leads to a movement, that leads to an action, that leads to your desire. And it all happens from within. That is what the ancients taught, and that is what I've read about. Now, I will tell you this, I am not a master, I'm not a pro. There's a lot of stuff you can do with traditional astrology. <laughs> Most of it I'm not even really good at. I mean, natal, the stuff that everyone knows, what's your birth chart? <laughs> I mean, I'm not very good at it, and it's hard. And then there's horary, which is not to be confused with hori, I think that's a term for holes. Um, it's horary. You know, you ask a question and you look at the stars and you get an answer if you're good. If you're not good, well, you'll just get confused like I do. And then there's mundane. Now, I might cover a little bit of mundane. It's really complicated and it takes a lot of time to do it correctly. But I want to focus on, you know, elections, casting times, and picking times for fruitful outcomes. I guess if you want a miserable outcome, you can pick that too. But I don't know why you would want to. Most people want good things. So you can do that combined with talismanic magic. 
I'll go in a little bit more detail about that later, but like I said, that's the idea. You pick a time that best reflects something connected to you in such a way that will align you to your goal that can get you what you want. Now, I know this sounds like kind of crazy. Well, I want to be the president of the United States. <laughs> okay, well, I, I mean, in theory, I guess you could try and make one that does that, but I don't really think you're going to. I will give you a fair disclaimer. Most of these things, by the way, this is a talisman, this ring. Most of these things, they don't work until they do. So <laughs> I'd say like 95% of the time, they're doing nothing, or it appears they're doing nothing. And then one day you just, you wake up, and you're like, I'm gonna do this. And you just do it. And you don't have a reason why, you don't, you don't even know. You could be depressed and you'll just be like, no, no, I'm gonna do this now. And you just do it. You remember in um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince when he drinks Felix Felicis? And I think that's how it's pronounced. Fel the Felix Potion. And they're like, all right, stick to the plan. Right, I'm going to Hagrid's. And it's like, no, no, what are you doing? I mean, it's kind of like that in a way where it's like, you know, normally you have this idea of what you're gonna do and then you just do something else. You don't know why, you're just doing it. That's the idea of it. Remember, I mean, in between this rant, transmutation. That's what the ancients thought of when they thought of talismanic magic. I guess if you want, you can be like, oh, great demons, please come down and assist me. But I mean, that's, that's not what this is. Pretty much, you're picking a planet that's good for you. Like I said, we'll go into that later. You pick it, and you praise it at the right time, wearing the right clothes, doing the right thing at the right time, at the altar of your choice. Now, if you wish, I can post some of my Reddit posts on there. I think that they'll give you a pretty good idea of how it looks. Later on down the road, I'm going to actually videotape me doing my invocations. These are actual rituals. I do these three to four times a week. I have felt great success with them, and I, I don't know how to explain it. I feel more whole. Now, that that's me. I mean, someone else could do this and be like, this is bullshit, I don't want to do this, I hate this, this is dumb, screw this guy. Fine. You don't have to, you don't have to agree with this stuff. Um, but I found that if you look, there's not a lot of places to go to find this kind of information. And I figured it would be better than most of the stuff that people have beaten into the ground consistently. I mean, I'm not gonna name it because every, I mean, everybody does the same old, same old, you know, it's, it's always the same. Maybe you guys do planetary devotional magic, but I don't see it. But then again, I don't have social media. I, don't, I ain't got shit, so. Mm -hmm. But just things to consider, and hopefully you will enjoy watching these. I, I mean, truth be told, a lot of the content in the books that I read, and I'm not saying I'm a genius, because I'm not, it's really dense. Like, you have to read over it, you have to look at it, and you're like, what did I just, what am I, what am I reading? It's like, you know, when you're reading, and you're just looking at the pages, and you're like, those are words, what do they mean? It's so dense, and it's so dry. But, like I said, a lot of people think it's, do it, and you shoot lightning out of your fingertips. I think real magic can be a lot more boring sounding, but when you do it, it oh God, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it opens up a feeling of, wow, I'm like connected to something that I have no idea what I'm even feeling. It feels like you're you're whole in a certain sense. If you do if you do it if you do it the way that I I suggest. I mean I've done this for two years now. Like I said, I'm not a pro, but I I really encourage it. I mean I really encourage it. I went from playing WoW World of Warcraft for the unconfirmed and uninitiated. You know, I mean it's not really a big deal. The game's going to crap, but um, I've gone from that to this and. It's kind of weird, you know, like, what do you do for fun? Oh, you know, just, you know, worship planets and make incense and pick 
stones, you know, the usual. They're like, what? And I'm like, oh, nothing, nothing. I like, you know, football and stuff. Football's fun, but whatever. I, I digress. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this. And I genuinely and sincerely hope that you get something out of this. I try and be entertaining and educational at the same time. If I'm not, well, sorry. Can't be everything. But I get camera shy sometimes, so hopefully... You know, it makes up for the fact that you're actually learning something new that you might not have heard about. So that's about it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try and make content as fresh as possible. No guarantees because, I mean, life. But there's a lot to cover, like a lot. And I'll probably just pick an excerpt and read. I mean, yeah. So stay tuned, friends. All right. Take care, guys.